How to update Trezor to Trezor Suite plus update firmware step-by-step -step tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is go to trezor.io and click on this button discover Trezor Suite and you'll get the options to download the app. So all you need to do is select the app that is suitable for your computer. In this case we're going to select Apple Mac then it, while it's downloading it takes a few minutes and then once it downloads we want to install it. So normally we just click on the uh, icon down the bottom here and then we install it as normal. The first thing is it wants anonymous data collection. You can either allow or disallow and then you can click confirm. Then do a security check. So then click on access suite. Then you'll need to enter your PIN and you'll see this on your actual Trezor. It changes all the time, so enter your PIN. And now we're loaded into the dashboard. And as you can see where it says new Trezor firmware is available, please update your device. So we just need to do that. We click on update now, which is up in the top right hand corner. That'll ask us to install firmware. We're currently on 1.9.3 and we're going to 1.10.5. Click install firmware. And this is security checkpoint. Do you have your seed? Because if you don't have your seed, do not continue. You need that 12 word phrase. Click yes I do and click continue. That'll ask you to reconnect your Trezor in bootloader mode. So you disconnect your Trezor like in the video you can see. And then when you connect it again, hold one or both buttons while reconnecting the USB cable. Then it's ready, just click on Install Firmware. You'll need to confirm this on the Trezor itself. It'll ask you a question and just confirm that. And once that's done, it'll start installing the firmware. Do not disconnect the Trezor at all during this process. So now it's installing. Nearly there, about 70%. Okay, so now it's installed. It's got a little tick. Now you need to reconnect it. So you disconnect your Trezor. And when you reconnect it, you don't need to hold any buttons down at all. So you might want to give it maybe 10 seconds after disconnecting it and putting it back in. And then once you do that, you'll see your default screen load on your Trezor. If you do it too soon, it may not load as a new device. So once you've done that, click on close. And you'll need to enter your PIN again, and you'll do that on the Trezor itself. And now we're inside the main dashboard. So the main dashboard will have pretty much a portfolio, the assets that you have in there. It'll also do your security information, and also Trezor news. We've already created our backup previously and got a PIN. Anything we haven't done is passphrase and uh, the other mode. You click on accounts and you can see here this is a new uh, Bitcoin account. This is a new one for BECH32. Essentially allow for lower transaction fees. The old one here which is Sedgeword accounts and this will have all the previous transactions if you have that if you have an account already. So you just click back on the latest account. Click back to dashboard. So we'll run through some options here on the right hand side at the top. Click on the clog, cog and you'll see application. And in here you have things like language, fiat currency, labeling, tour, color scheme, usage data application, early access program for beta. And you click on device tab, you'll see this is where you can do backup, check your backup, check your ver version that you have, you can change your pin, passphrase, and also device name, and also perform a factory reset or install custom firmware. The other tab is crypto. 
and this allows you to select the crypto that you would like on the Trezor. At the moment we've just got Bitcoin on there but as you can see we've got all the others. Also when you enable uh, Ethereum you will have all the tokens that are available on Ethereum. So we just close the X on that window. Let's have a look at some of the options. You've got the notifications and then you've got Tor. You can turn this on or off by using this button. And this one here uh, blows out your screen on the portfolio. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video and if you like this content subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. If you have any questions please put them in the comments below and I'll be too happy to help. Thanks. Bye.